What's up, Kaiju Duel Masters? This is Carl Reddish, aka Thunder Sultan, coming at you on Friday, October 12th, 2012. Um, uh, I do apologize for not posting any videos for about the past seven days or so, seven or eight days. But uh, as some of you may know by following me on Twitter or Facebook, that my father passed away last Friday. Um, and uh, he was my best friend, and he was my roommate, and he was my number one fan. And uh, I will see him again someday. And uh, and you guys sent me lots and lots of good vibes and lots of condolences and, and I'm sorry's and stuff like that. And all of those were taken to heart. And all of those are very much appreciated. I know I kind of replied with the same tweet um, or remark on Facebook. But trust me, guys, those kind words did and do mean everything to me. So thank you so much for all of you who, who sent those out there. And uh, especially Gordon Kane, who was able to attend... Um, my father's funeral, and that meant a lot to me, so thank you, Gordon. Um, so, uh, let's go on from that, but, uh, yeah, um, just want to let you guys know that it looks like Wizards has made an official, official Kaijudo, um, YouTube channel, uh, just, it's Wizards Kaijudo, just all one word, I will link that below, they have about 20 videos right now, most of it's previews of the episodes, a lot of learn to play stuff. Um, I'm very, very, very excited to see them do that. I think that's a very good direction for them to go and stuff like that. So please check them out. They have 20 subscribers. Let's just blow them out. Let's just get everybody on there and blow those numbers out crazy, okay? Maybe they will use um, the YouTube channel as a as a way to do previews for Evo Fury. I think that's an awesome idea, uh, stuff like that. Um, you know, uh, Leave comments in their feed saying, hey, you know, can we get a – that's what we should do. Let's do that. Let's everybody post on their feed. Can we get an Evo Fury preview through this channel? That would be awesome. Let's see if we can campaign and get that going. So, um, and also, uh, uh, I've noticed that a lot of people, like like myself, I got a preview or Power got a preview card from uh, the last set uh, or two sets ago, and then uh, Kaiju Channel had Starlight Strategist, and even even Ultra Pro has sent some stuff to Earth Power, and and I I, I say that because. We're obviously being seen on YouTube and stuff like that, and and I think um, I think that's a wonderful thing, um, and and I think that that we need to recognize that we're being watched, and um, lots of good people watching us, like Ultra Pro and Wizards and stuff like that, and I think I think Ultra Pro didn't link Earth Power stuff because of some of the language issues, and um, I do respect the fact that the target audience for this game is. Is generally eight to eight to fourteen uh, or males or whatever, but um, you know I do my absolute best not to use profanity or inappropriate language or or inappropriate subject matter on my my um, YouTube videos, and I've kind of slipped a few times on those, but um, I'm doing my absolute best not to do that, and I think that's the best way that if you are a YouTube channel out there and you want to get a preview um, for upcoming sets, I think that's the way to go. So. I think I think we should all you know take a stand and try to try to use less less bad words, more good words, and more stuff and and you know uh, and that'll happen. So uh, I will get off my soapbox on that and move on. Um, now one of the, I got two more things, two more things I want to show off. Uh, something that one of uh, one of an old DM player sent me, Mr. Jared Wait. Uh, from San Antonio, and then I will talk about Tetsurian, the the Evo Fury card, and how I love it. So, um, good, good, uh, good, good friend and old Duel Master player from San Antonio, Jared Waite. He sent me a message. Says, "Hey, eh, can I mail you something? You sign it, and then you know, send it back." I'm like, "Absolutely." You pay to sh you pay you pay to ship it to me, and I'll I'll ship it back to you. I'll pay for the shipping back because that's just too cool, man. He wanted me to sign his mat along with a Lord Sky Crusher, which I will. And then he sent me nine Splinter Claw Wasps, which I collect and I love. And I thank you. And Earth Power sent me some too. Thank you, Earth Power. I love that. I collect these guys. So please send them to me. Let me show you. Just show you how many Splinter Claw Wasps I have. I'm bad at math, so I'm just going to tell you how many pages I have. So, uh, actually, I'm back on my binder. Uh, this is a Hydrobot Crap from Earth Power. This is a. Four billion, four billion power uh, uh, hydro crab along with a Torcon, signed Torcon, which is awesome. And these are some of the signed signed Splinter Claws from people I met at Gen Con and some of my Texas crew. 
So it's one page, two page, three page, four page, five page, six page, seven page, eight page, like eight and a half, so that makes like nine and a half, like almost 90 Splinter Claw Wasp that I own between Dojo and First Edition. So I think that's the only card I ever want to see reprinted. Everything else I want to be new. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, so yeah, um, I love these. Thank you. Uh, Jared, I did get the note in the box, and thank you, and I agree. He'll know what I'm talking about. So uh, here is his mat, and I love it because it's simple and beautiful, and I'm probably going to ask him if he has another one that I can buy from him. Or get it hooked up. Check this thing out. You just do it like a pan. It just says Kaijudo Rise of the Duel Masters. Very simple, very elegant, very beautiful. And also, the camera does no justice to it. Um, but the the lettering has like the gold little indents and stuff. Like just 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 it's just amazing in person. Uh, and he wants me to draw on it, and I'm like, man, are you sure? And he's like, yeah, yeah, sign it up, dude. So I will do that. So I, I love it. And he also has it in this really cool poster tube that he obviously chopped up and covered in electrical tape. So he'll be getting his map back, which I'm crazy. Ah, let me fix that. And then uh, his cards and stuff. And I'm also going to send him a Thunder Sultan of his own. I'm going to write on it. I'm going to draw my name and stuff on it. This is Thunder Sultan. This is the game I used to play. This is where I get my name for my YouTube channel and my, my Twitter account and stuff like that. And um, Reef Prince and his crew used to call him Strawberry because the back of him looks like a strawberry. And he has the best flavor text ever. When the Sultan dances, you must join in. Such a cool, cool creature. So, Jared, thank you. I will have that out to you soon. I do apologize. I've been sitting on it for like a week. But obviously with the stuff of my father and everything, um, it's been a little hard to deal with. So, But I will get that out to you. Now, let's talk about what everybody's been talking about. Uh, Tetsurian. Evil Fury Tetsurian. Uh, level 7. 12,000. Obviously put on one of your armored dragons. It would make sense to put it on a beast kin, I guess. I don't know. Um, I was kind of on the fence about that. But now it makes perfect sense to make it just dragons. Otherwise, it's too versatile. Too, too versatile if it went both uh, green or red. So, I agree with that. But, uh, level 7, 12,000. Put on one of your armored dragons. Uh, triple breaker. And, obviously, they've clarified that uh, evolution creatures get to attack right away. So, it has fast attack, essentially. And then, um, it, had dra it has dragon wings. When this creature enters the battle zone, choose one of your opponents, uh, choose one of your enemy creatures, and that creature can't attack or block until... Uh, your next turn. I think that's a great, great mechanic. But in my opinion, I think that is a mechanic better suited for a light creature or a water creature. More so light. But definitely, if they ever make like uh, the hybrid um, dual sieve uh, light slash water creatures, I think that's a perfect ability. Um, the reason I say that is because um, I love the color pie, and I believe in the color pie, and I, I love the restrictions that are on the color pie, and I only like them bended just a little bit, and I could see, to me, that ability belongs in, in light, and I could see it being bent into um, to water, and I could kind of see it being bent into green, but not so much red. Red is an enemy color, not an ally color of, uh, of, uh, of light, so it kind of is interesting that it bleeds into that. The reason I say that is because there's a mechanic in, in Magic called Detain. It's actually a new mechanic. It's out of Return to Ravnica. And that mechanic states, when this creature enters the battlefield, uh, choose target uh, enemy creature. Or target, yeah, enemy creature. Same thing. And uh, that creature cannot attack or block and, or use activated abilities until the start of your next turn. So it's kind of the same thing. And that is exclusively in white or blue and so i would think it would go the same so my question is um are we going to see bleeding of other effects in other colors like will you see just a straight up draw card in light an unrestricted draw will you see unrestricted draw in green will you see um bounce just straight up bounce in green will you see you know other bleeding of of, of enemy and ally stuff um Hopefully this is just like a one-time thing, you know, and maybe we get like one-time things 
all around the circle, stuff like that. But uh, for it to be on a super rare and an evolution, it's kind of pushed. Um, I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying it's interesting. Um, and I kind of like my colors being where they are. You know what I mean? So uh, I don't like my cranberry sauce touching my, touching my turkey. You know what I mean? But uh, uh, that that's just how it is. So uh, level seven, though, I think is a little is a little cheap. I think it's a little cheap, guys. Uh, honestly, I think it should be an eight. It should be an eight cost because you can do some silly stuff. Because you have Hyperspeed Dragon at five and Quill Spike Tetsurian at five. Imagine what the Beast Can evolution is going to be. I mean, you could possibly run two of Tets Evo Evo Fury Tetsurian and then two of whatever the Beast Can one is, and use the the five mana Quill Spike as a way to go left or right, depending on what you got in your hand. Because you know, obviously Quill Spike is uh beast can and armor dragon so you may have tetsuri and evo in dragons and then tetsuri and evo in uh in green but i, I honestly i think it's gonna be fighter dual fang it's just gonna be beast can evolution but the ability to go turn four bronze arm into turn five bull gash into turn six uh evo fury tetsuri it's pretty good pretty good especially if you can attack something of theirs, like say they have something turned sideways and and a blocker, you can attack, you can lock down the blocker and then attack this because I mean, it's 12k. What else on the board is 12k besides another Tetsurian? So uh, I think it's good. I think it's really good, especially the triple breaker. Um, I think it's pushed and it's busted. It's not broken, but man, why does that ability run in red? But uh, I did send a tweet out to Wizards underscore Kaijudo and also Ryan Miller kind of see what their views on it are uh I, I i think it's just a, a good card and we shall see how the bleeding of other colors goes but maybe it's a one-time thing maybe they just tested it we'll see how it goes um don't freak out everybody it's just a good card <laughs> luckily it's in a 60 card set and uh and it should be easier to obtain so um and i know it sounds crazy but if you buy a case you should get three or four so there you go um I don't think it's going to see Tetsuri in the Unchained prices, uh, simply because it's got a, a couple of steps to get out onto the battlefield. And then if it gets terra pitted, then you know you're down two cards. But then again, if you hit for three shields, they're down three shields. So there you go. And then uh, if it's root trapped, if it's root trapped, do you get both of them? Interesting question. If you know that, answer down below. I don't really remember it from uh, from DM times. So, and then obviously that'd be the natural snare question. So that is a good question. Uh, same with uh, Corel, which I think the, the controller of the creature gets to choose how they go on top, which, which I think makes sense. But at this point, I am rambling. So in closing, uh, thank you guys so much for all the kind words for my father passing uh, last week and everything like that. That was, that, was, that was very, very amazing and very wonderful. And hopefully... I get to see you guys at a big event or something like that and you know you guys can you know sign my cards and stuff like that the, the splinter claws and and stuff like that because i think this community is wonderful it's tight-knit it's respectful um and everything like that so thank you guys can't tell you enough how much that meant to me um you know just sitting there thinking about my situation and i get a little beep from my phone and, and it's somebody from twitter saying hey man keep your head up and that is exactly what I did. So thank you guys. Um, other than that, I probably won't be at league this weekend simply because I'm dealing with a lot of stuff at uh, at, at my father's house and, and my house because we live together and stuff like that. So um, that is about it. You guys have a great day. Uh, please rally on to Kaijudo, Wizard, uh, Wizards Kaijudo to maybe get a preview up on there. See if that we got we can make that happen. My name is Carl Reddish. May all your shields be triggers, guys. I will see you soon. Hadn't forgot about you guys. Just give me a little bit of time. Thank you so much. Bye bye.